Hello and welcome to this Q&A response video. Every question you see here comes from a live training I did back in July on how Confluence handles access, permissions, and restrictions. Check out the original uh, up here if you missed it. And let's jump in to the questions. First up, we have, do anonymous pages appear in search results? Confluence allows for anonymous access, meaning anyone on the internet can get to a page. This can be very useful if you have a public-facing wiki or other documentation you want anyone to access, but can be a little bit dangerous because you might accidentally publish something sensitive. And that does appear in search results. So let's pop over to Chrome and see what this looks like. Here's Chrome. And up in the URL bar, if I type in site colon star atlassian.net, it's going to search for any site that ends with atlassian.net. This is what every Cloud Confluence site would end with. So if I hit enter, it's going to find any site that it can see that is a anonymously accessible Confluence space. And here we can see a couple from different companies that show up right away. So here I can clearly see that it is possible to easily search for anonymously accessible sites in Confluence. And this is one of the reasons we want to be very careful when we use anonymous access because it is available and easily searchable and findable out on the internet. Let's pop over to our next question. Can databases be restricted? Yes, actually all of our content can be restricted. So let's go to Confluence and see what this looks like. Here I am in a premium cloud instance, and I'm gonna open up a space that I use. And here I am on the top level page. And one funny thing you'll notice is there is no lock icon at the top showing me restriction options. If I click on more actions, however, there is a restriction that I can place on the top level page. So for now, I'm just gonna clear this and apply, but I can also go to a specific page and see its restrictions. And this is what most people are familiar with, the little lock icon in the top right to restrict a page. However, I can also go to a database like this one called Project Tracker, and I have that same lock icon. I could go to a whiteboard and I would get the same options to restrict this content. You'll see anyone can see it, only some can view, and only some can edit. Additionally, if I go up and make a blog post, I'll get the same exact options to restrict. Do restrictions on the home page of a space inherit down to all pages? Yes, it actually inherits down to all the content as well. So let's pop over to our Confluence instance and see what it looks like. Here I am back in my space, and I'm just going to open up a page, maybe how to steps one to three. And I want to make sure that it doesn't have any restrictions. So anyone in the space and there's nothing about its parent. Here we are at that top level page and you'll notice there's no lock icon. But if I click on more actions, there is a restrictions menu that gives me the same options I have on other content. Maybe I'll say only some people can view or edit and restrict it just to myself. I'll click apply. And then I'm going to go back to that how to steps one to three page and see if it has those restrictions. You'll notice the lock is red, meaning there are restrictions on it, and I can see it's restricted by the parent. So I can place restrictions on my space overview and have them ladder down to everything in the space. This is a great way to ensure only certain people can access or everyone can view or provide other default restrictions across your space. Now I will point out that blog posts aren't included in this, and this might be because they're not in the page tree, but here, if I open up a blog post, how to reset your password, a demonstration blog post I made, and I open up the link, we'll see that this is explicitly restricted. If I remove this, we'll notice it doesn't say it's inheriting restrictions. So I can lock down the entire page with the exception of blog posts by locking down that space overview. All right, let's see what our next question is. Can space admins see restricted pages in their space? Yes. Space admins have almost complete control over a space, including the ability to see what content is restricted, how it's restricted, and if they need to, change that. So let's see what it looks like. Back in my Confluence space, I'm going to go to Space Settings. And in the Manage Content section, I have a restricted menu. This will give me a list of every piece of content that is restricted. We can see here that the home page was restricted, this resume example, etc. I can see the type of restriction, who is allowed to view or edit, who the creator is, when that restriction was created, and then I can click on this lock to see even more information about the page. So as a space admin, I can go in and see everything that's happened. I can see what's in the hierarchy of that page and why it might be impacted, and when the restrictions were set. 
this is a great way for me to go in and fix it or help people unlock content they may have accidentally restricted but didn't mean to. So again, your space admin can help you out. They can go in and see what was restricted, see how it was restricted, and then if they need to, go in and help unlock the page. All right, let's pop over to our next question. Can we bulk export permissions or restrictions? Unfortunately, without an add-on, there's no button I can push to get a list of all the permissions to a space or a Confluence instance and what's restricted. There are add-ons that help do this, and it makes it a lot easier to manage permissions and access. But unfortunately, without that add-on, we'd have to go through manually and figure out who has what where. This can make it a little bit tricky. It's not impossible, but it takes a lot more time because we can't bulk export all those great permissions. So there we have all of our questions from the July 23rd Access Training. Please check out that video for more in-depth training on how to use Confluence Access permissions and restrictions. There's a lot of great stuff in there. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and please share it with someone else. Go down to the comments too and let me know what your questions are about Confluence or other topics you'd like to see. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon. Mm -hmm.